Okay, this is the application section. Uh, application means uh, word problems, and word problems just means formulas and put some numbers in. So the formula is for the area of an equilateral triangle. It's A equals radical 3 uh, over 4 times S squared. So the first thing is um, they want us to find the length of the side of the equilateral triangle whose area is 12, or radical 12. So this part is important because that means that's what A is. So we got to plug in radical 12 equals radical 3 over 4 S squared. So I want to get rid of the fraction first, so I'm going to just go ahead and multiply it by 4. Well, that's actually very nice. And then I want to also get rid of the 3. So I have radical 3 times S squared. So I could just divide the radical 3 to both sides. So we're going to have 4 radical 12. So if I divide that by radical 3, um, this is actually going to simplify very nicely because I can actually divide the 12 and the 3 since they're both inside. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, and that's in a radical, so square root of 4 is just 2. So this ends up saying 8 equals S squared. <clears throat> so then, um, to get the S by itself, we would just square root it. So that means S is equal to, if we were to simplify this, this is 2 times 2 times 2. So that means that it comes out as 2, radical 2. Let's see, find the length of the side. And it doesn't say the units anywhere. So I'm going to just call it units. You guys have to remember to put this because the test is going to mark you wrong if you don't put the units. If it's in feet, you say feet. If it's in inches, you say inches. And again, the, uh, the side lengths and the one dimension things, they're all in uh, units that are in the first power. Area is in the second power. Uh, volume is third power. Everything else is just in the first power. So it says, what happens to the side of the triangle as the area gets larger? Well, again, this is one of those common sense things. If the shape's getting bigger, the side's getting bigger also. So the sides get larger. The area's getting bigger, the side's getting bigger. How's the area get bigger? Okay, the next one says the velocity of a free falling object is given by V equals 2 GH inside the square root. V is the velocity, H is the distance, and it says G is equal to 32. So how far did the object hit? Uh, how far did it fall if the object hit 80 feet per second squared? So we got to just plug in all the stuff we know. We know that G is equal to 32, so we can go ahead and put that in right here in this spot. So actually, 2 times 32, that's just 64. And if that's inside of the square root, that's now 8. And then we have h. So once we put the 32 in, that's our formula. Uh, and we always use 32 for that, uh, for that g right there. That's just uh, something that they do in physics a lot, uh, because that's what it is in real life. It's always 32 feet per second. OK, so now. Um, they said, well, how far did the object fall? So they want to know H. That's what H stands for. Um, so the velocity is 80 feet per second. So that right there tells us V is equal to 80. So if we put 80 equals 8 times radical H, I can get rid of the 8 by dividing both sides. So I have radical H equals 10. So then I have to square it to get it out. So that means H is equal to 100. Now, we have to have units on here. So if you go find h, it says h is the distance in feet. So it's 100 feet. That object would have to fall 100 feet in order to hit the ground with a velocity of 80 feet per second squared. Um, how far did the object fall if it hits the ground with a velocity of 48? Same thing. It's just that this time they want us to put in the velocity is 48. So v equals 48. So uh, you get 8 radical h divided by 8 first. Same exact steps. So you have radical h equals 6, and then you have to square it. Square that. So that means h equals 36. And again, this is in feet, because h is always measured in feet in this problem. What happens to the height when the velocity decreases? So if, if your velocity uh, decreases, that means the height decreases. Height, I'm going to actually write a complete sentence. The height will 
also decrease. So basically, if it's hitting the ground with uh, less force, that's because it was dropped from lower. So it's closer to the ground. So the height is actually going to decrease in that one. 